Hi! Welcome to I Hate Kate's Shits. It's our version of MTV's Cribs, but you get to see our piece of shit hotels we stay in. Today we're at the La Quinta Inn in Nashville, Tennessee. Come on in! This is, this is our room here. One of them. This is a double bed, which means there's two of them. There's one here, and there's one here. Now I've mentioned this before and I'll say it again. Do not ever lay on these bedspreads. They don't wash them. It's disgusting. There have been many people having intercourse and they have disease-ridden genitals, I guarantee you, on that and you're gonna lay on it and oh, it's time to go to bed, let's get cozy. No. TV, it's kind of confusing on the road because you don't know what time, everything's on at different times. Like I wanna get on and watch Letterman, but Letterman's on at the same time Conan is here, but a different time here. It's confusing. Um, as you can see here, I put, uh, I got, I'm gonna come clean here, okay? I, I'm a hypochondriac. Um, Bob Wiley, he's got nothing on me. Howard Hughes, come on, dude, the guy's a little sissy. I get a uh, paper towel, a little uh, tissue, and I put it on the uh, uh, remote control when I wanna watch TV because this has the most amount of germs out of anything in the hotel room. People will use this while watching pornography and then they will gratify themselves, massage the genitalia, and then use it again. And they go, oh, here we go, and they'll put it back, and then you're like, hey, let's go watch Family Feud. Boom. No. <laughs> Not doing it. My business area right here. When I come back from a hard night of work, of rocking and rolling the clubs, and uh, giving the kids the show of their life, I come back here, and I respond to each and every one of their emails. Every one of them. And people ask, oh, do you do this, or do you have people do it? Me, every time. Not really every time, but most of the time. And I do respond to most emails, not all of them. I kind of lied to that too, but it sounded better. Coming out of my bathroom. La Quinta, okay, everyone's different. You got Motel 6, um, just, I mean, you gotta be really hard pressed to stay at Motel 6, but we do. And uh, I've seen bugs in beds, I've seen crack pipes under the bed, I've seen rats run across, or not rats, but mice run across the room, I've seen graffiti on the walls. Not cool, but you gotta do it. La Quintas are a step up. Definitely not, you know, the double tree, but a little bit better. Plus they have like this thing where you can do uh, frequent flyer miles, but it's La Quinta and you get to store up many points. You get a hotel room, blah, blah, blah. It's great. Always have a Mr. Coffee at La Quinta. This is key for the coffee drinkers. You don't think anything of having a blow dryer, but I'll tell you one thing. When you go to these hotels and they don't have blow dryers, you gotta call the front desk, you have a blow dryer, and then you gotta either go down there and get it, or they don't have one. It's a nuisance. It's a freaking blow dryer. What does it cost? 10 bucks? Go put a damn blow dryer in your hotel room. Um, showers. Kinda nice. See it down here? I have the washcloth. Come take a look at that. I have the washcloth down there. Um, the reason for that, I mean, let me tell you. Sometimes I don't like to step on the bottom of those things because they don't really clean those things out. And we all know that this is the place where people, um, you know, massage their genitals as well, is in the shower. And I don't really feel like stepping on dried up or not dried up semen. I'm not in the mood. So I step on a washcloth. Yeah, I know, it's a little, um, a little weird, you know, a little OCD, but whatever. Closet. Don't really use them. <laughs> um, they have a uh, ironing board. Don't really use that. Come on out and check out our ride. It's, uh, I want to tell you a little something about how we really tour, how the ballers tour. People are like, oh, we got a big tour bus. Come on, dude. You want a tour bus with a big old trailer behind you? I mean, that's big. You can't find parking anywhere. You can't stay in the major cities. You got to go, you know, spend millions of dollars or stay outside the city. You get a little van, you know? You fit in those little compact spots. Perfect. Come this way. Shut the door.